What's the meaning of this? Babies! They're babies! Radical. All right, they look so cute. Look at those little bastards. <laughs> So there it is, the accessory set for inside. I can't wait to actually get the layer and stuff, but there's the Big Mac. I was excited to finally see him, so I'm glad he was in the accessory thing. It wasn't. And the more Pizza Monsters, TV, and just look how cute they look. So yes, there's that. There's that on the side there again. And for the Rat King, there's this portrait. There's a lot of neat stuff that you can get inside this. <laughs> so why not? Let's look at these little cuties. They have some fun. What I was really happy with, I don't have to use any of this, but I'm also thankful for finding the person that does this to get those damn little strips on them that hold them in. That is a godsend, but there's none of that on here, so that makes me happy. Plus, there they are, out of the thing. And we'll take a look at them, but look how cute they are with their buggy eyes. But what gets me the most is, oh my gosh, look at those little weapons. They got little tiny weapons. They're so cute. Let's get into it. And then I guess this is the stuff you can slide into the TV screen. So yay. Thanks for watching. Holothon 2023 is still a go. Let's look at the fun accessory set of the turtles. Thanks for watching, and uh, let's get into it. So this is the Big Mac figure. He's pretty cool. He's got good articulation. You can go up, down, you can obviously spin around. So what's so cool, one of the things cool about the Big Mac character is you can also take some of his weapons off him. And so that way if you want him to look like he's broken maybe, or you just want to disarm him, you can. So that's why they also gave you this little peg to go in top of his head to cover up that bald spot he has. So if you don't have the weapon in there, you can always replace it with that. It does fit in there pretty snugly, so it makes it look like he never had a weapon in there. And it won't just like fall out if you flip him upside down. Now it is nice that they give you this little spot where you can stick your, your uh, nail in. So you can easily pop it back out. So that's pretty cool. They made sure they added to this. Hey look, it actually came with a Bactor Stockman's wearing Shredder's helmet. Oh wait, that's just his head. Without the figure that was in an exclusive, there's not much you could do with it. Here's a couple ideas I came up with. Oh, I wish I had some clogging shoes. Wish? Did somebody say wish? All right, people, let's go! If I had a life, we'd be wasting it. It's a pretty good sculpt. Um, I'm pretty sure you could find any figure you could potentially put on. Maybe um, actual Baxter Stockman's fly body, but still pretty cool. I'm pretty sure you can find something else to come up with it than I have. If you have any good ideas, put it in the comments below. I can't reach the pizza. Um, I want my pi 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 pizza. Oh, you can't have mine. What the heck? I mean, Sakai Blue! Here's Donatello. Of course, you know, Ben being really small, they have not too much art articulation. You can move his arms, his legs, his feet, and of course his head. And that's basically it for the articulation. But they did a pretty good job on the paint job. Same articulation from one turtle to another. It's pretty cute. Uh, they do a pretty good job of holding their weapons. Their hands are a little tight, so they do have a really good grip on it. So this is with him with his, his bow staff. So some of the articulation is pretty stiff, but they're also very top heavy, so that's maybe not necessarily a, a bad thing. Now they are really uh, hard to have them stand up. As you can see, there's no spot to store their weapons on them, which is not necessarily a bad thing, since they're just children anyways. Here's Raphael, he's got a good expression. I just wish they would have put like maybe teeth or something in his where his mouth is, but I mean, he still looks really good. You could tell by looking at their faces and all, that they didn't really use the same mold from one, one turtle to another, which is very important, especially since you're trying to Make, get capture the uh, turtles personalities which I think they did a pretty good job overall so again this is with both of the scythes as I said before they're not necessarily easy to stand up on their own and there's no uh, pegs or anything in the bottom of their feet to do such a thing but they still look really cute and adorable it's always funny how uh, when uh, children always try they try to make children look menacing but he just looks so adorable with even with his angry expression didn't you just want to just pick him up and give him a hug and they throw him in the air a couple times show him some love here's Leonardo and they said they're not really easy to have him stand on their own so right now I have them just leaning up on the background. As I said, they're good at capturing each character's expression in their faces. To me right now, he just looks like he's, a, he's trying to learn how to walk and he's just about to fall. 
which as I said, they're pretty good at doing right now, since, especially with the soft surface that I'm trying to have them stand on with a slippery background. But it, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just the way it's going to be. As I said, no no spots with the weapons or anything. Just just their hands, which they do a pretty good job of grasping their weapons. A little tight, but you can definitely get this fit in there. And once you do, they definitely stay on their own. They even sit like children. But I like how Michelangelo's nunchucks are actually on chains instead of doing like typical plastic or like a one string type thing. They're actually nice chains. They said they do hold the weapons very well. You get no place to store the, the weapons when you're done. It's either on their hands or on the ground. But just like children, you know, just leaving their toys around. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, you know, I guess because of how small they are, they were very limited in what they could do with them. Maybe because Michelangelo's a baby, but he's got one of the cutest faces ever. Very happy, very, very excited. Just like I said, very limited articulation. Now, I do have a lot of trouble trying to get their feet to fit, uh, position right, to stand, but at the same time, do their top heaviness. I almost feel like it's basically impossible to get them to stand. I would I would have liked to have at least like a peg or something in their uh, hole for their foot so you can put them on a stand. But they're still cute and adorable as, you know, like children should be. So I still don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It's just something I would have preferred. Watch out, Shredder. They may not be teenagers, but they definitely are learning the arts of the ninja. So you better watch out. They're coming for you. This is April O'Neil reporting with Super Shredder. How do you feel to be a brand new father? What the hell are these things? So here's the TV set by itself. It's nice, big, built pretty well. I like how there's books at the bottom of the uh, TV stand to help hold it up. There's also a slot to put in a VHS tape. And uh, let's see what kind of pictures that this came with to put in the TV. So they came with nine total inserts for your TV. You got April O'Neil. You got a video game. Uh, Vernon. Ace Duck. Bebop Rocksteady. Black and White Wrestling. Leonardo in Disguise. Uh, Donatello in Disguise. Reptar Steals Chickens. I mean Godzilla or Dinosaur. And a blob. The blob. I will say these are relatively good quality. Uh, kind of like light cardboard. The thing is that uh, one of them came with a uh, dentary in it. Which I guess can't be helped. And you can't necessarily see that before you get it. But that's kind of a shame. Right there in a sleeve. But other than that, they, they, they uh, came in pretty nice and crisp. So let's go see some of these in the TV. So you load them through the top of the TV, so the top of the TV comes off. Then we can slide it in a little slot. This is what it looks like by itself. It could be like a standalone thing, but without the TV top, it, the TV doesn't look right. But still, let's go see what these look like inside. It looks pretty good, spot on. Uh, putting the, taking the top off and putting it back on is really easy. Um, as I said, really nice quality. Fits in perfectly without seeing any of that white border. Let's go see another. All right, here's the video game one. Looks pretty good. Obviously goes well with the uh, controller and console. Let's go put another one in. So here's it with the Vernon uh, insert in. And also here's with Raphael next to him so you can get a size comparison. So the TV stands taller than the turtles themselves. So here's an Ace Duck next to his picture. It looks just like him. And here, so there's also here for a size comparison of, of a, a standard figure with the TV. So it's really a nice size. Let's move on to another one. See guys, I told you it'd work. We can trap him in the TV. Hey, let us out of here. What's going on? Get us out of here. So as I've shown before, not only do they have colored inserts, they also have black and white. Here's one of them wrestling. Hey, who's this handsome fellow? He looks just like you. No, he doesn't. It looks like he weighs at least 10 more pounds than me. Oh, I guess it goes to show that TV is a bad example on the little ones. Uh -huh. Monster flicks are some of my favorite flicks. I don't get it. What's so good about this portrait? I don't know, but it makes me hungry, dude. So here's a portrait of Cheese. I take it that it's designed to go up in the, your turtle layer when they release that. What would have been cool is if you actually could have took the picture of the cheese out and actually put some of the uh, TV inserts in it. 
They are about the right same size. Is this a shame? Who wouldn't want to hang up a portrait of April O'Neil? I think she would look great on the wall. A little bit of Donatello looking a little silly or goofy. But outside of that, I think the detail is pretty good. It looks just like a, looks like exactly like a real painting that you'd hang on the wall, front and back. So here's a Rocksteady's helmet. It's not bad. I mean, without, if you don't have the character where to put it on, there's only so much you can do with it. But here's what it looks like with the turtles with on. So Rex Daddy's helmet doesn't really fit well on the actual little turtles. Especially the ones where they have the big bandana sticking out on the back. I was only able to get it sit on his head because I'm having propped up against the background. Otherwise, just like the other turtles, it doesn't really fit well because of the bandana on the back of his head. So that kind of sucks. So the set also comes with a pizza. A Grove pizza. Or Groove Pizza. Which it actually opens up and it actually comes with a pizza you can take out. Now it's all one single piece. But if you have any of the other sets where you can actually take the individual slices out. Then there's there's endless possibilities. Of course you can always use it as a frisbee. Or you know. Just have your baby turtles just chow down on it. But this set also came with one other thing. I don't know what comes out of the box. It spawns creatures. Creepy creatures. So the set comes with two crawling pizza monsters. Which goes really well with the uh, one if you already got the pizza monster set. It's a pretty good sculpt on them. Pretty cute. I like how they're crawling. Both of these crawling creatures are the exact same uh, figure. They just give you two of them. But they are cute and adorable. And they go very well with their uh, their parent. Look at them just crawling all over the place. Aren't they cute? I don't know, where are those cute little things running from? Ah, it's a Mauser! Run, run, run! Sorry, little guy. Back to Stockman's little Mausers aren't scared of you. Rawr. So they did a pretty good job on the Mauser. Uh, I like how you can open and close his mouth. At first I was a little worried that he can't. Because of how little stiff it is. But he holds, he stands up really good. Looks really nice. Especially if you, you get him in the right position. His legs got good articulation. You can even bend his feet. So you can get him in different positions if you want to. Like a cute little creature trying to get his little treat from you. Feed me, feed me, feed me. All right. Pretty nice. Neat design. I like how you can actually... There's detail even in his uh, mouth himself. Like his throat. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty nice. Neat little accessory that comes with it. You can always use more of these guys. Just be careful. Sometimes they come home with the little treats for you too. To th show their appreciation. <laughs> can we keep them? No, Michelangelo. Blinter said no pets. Oh man. What if I just hide him? Not only did they have Baxter Stockman's uh, head with Shredder's helmet, they also got one of his accessories. That way you can find those uh, hidden items. Pretty neat. Pretty good detail, if you ask me. You can see a really good job on the wiring and the buttons. Pretty cool. May I say, radical. Here's a, a turtle backpack. Fits on any of your regular sized turtles. It's a neat backpack, but also could be used as a parachute. For your ace duck. Hey, I don't crash anything. Why would I need one of these? But ace duck, you're into those extreme sports. Why don't you give it a try? All right. I'm falling. Better activate my parachute. Uh... Wait a minute. I'm a duck. I got wings. I don't need this. As you can tell, the backpack is hollow. So you can't open the pouch or anything to hide any... Uh pizza snacks or anything for your little turtle babies but they it is still pretty cool i like how it's got the shell design on it and the strap right there looks like a bandana it's pretty nice so the set says it comes with two vhs tapes uh this one looks really nice i like how it's different than the ones that come with the so the set comes with a vhs tape 
Now the back of the box says it comes with a set of uh, two VHS tapes. I only saw this one in there. So I don't know if we got a shorter one or if that's just a misprint. But th it does look different than the ones you get from the Rex set. Uh, these VHS tapes can actually fit in the uh, VCR. And they actually go in all the way. So it goes inside the VCR, goes in all the way. You can also slide it right back out so you don't have to worry about getting stuck or anything. So here's the three that comes with the Rex 1 set. They're all the same size. Here's the one that comes in uh, this set. So you can easily stack them up or tell them apart from each other. It is neat that they have these things. I don't know why my set says, I don't know why the box says it comes with two when I only saw one in there. But besides that, it's pretty neat to have. I do like the difference between them, between the Rex 1 set. What tape are we going to watch today? Man, I need one for you, Mikey. It's Gnarly Wolfman 88. You should check it out. Cowabunga! So as I said before, the uh, this is the VCR that comes on top of the TV. It does fit. The VHS tapes do fit in it. But not only that, you can actually take the TV off. Uh, the VH, not only that, you can also take the VCR off the TV. So you can put anything else on there if you want to show your put your turtles up there. Or if you want to put anything else. Like when they're not playing video games, you can just put the video game set on there. I don't know. Uh, it's not necessary to take it off. But it is neat that they give you the option. And so this is a little pig. So this is a little pig that goes inside it. It also means you can also, you know, angle it. Whatever angle you want for it. So that's a pretty cool feature. That was a totally tubular review. What next Gnarly Wolfman video should we watch? If you don't pick one, I'll pick one for you. So the set also comes with a ray gun. You can, uh, it will fit any of your Ninja Turtles. Any, it does fit any of your Ninja Turtles, but not any of these baby Ninja Turtles. So they do look pretty big compared to him. Uh, Donatello, what do you think? Well, it may look like a toy, but it's a real ray gun. So you shouldn't be playing around with it unless you know what you're doing. Always put gun safety first. Thanks. Here's the torch by itself. Pretty pretty simple design, but it still looks neat. Pretty good detail. It's not only designed for the little turtles, but it will, as I said, fit in fit in their tiny hands if you just have them hold it by the little hose. Um, otherwise, it is designed for your your normal Ninja Turtles or figures in general, which it will fit perfectly in their hands. So the, it also comes with a torch. Here it is with Donatello holding it. If you do want him to work on the Big Mac uh, figure. Now, uh, we all know that children aren't supposed to play with the torches, but for this instance, why not? He is He does look pretty cute with it. So, uh, Big Mac, how would you rate this video? He gives it two thumbs up. You should check out this accessory set. Really good. They did a quality job on it. Check out Gnarly Wolfman's other videos.